Hi, this is Andy Barkway with Remax Elite, and today we're visiting Serena Shores Condo in Satellite Beach, Florida. Uh, the unit that we are looking at today is a two bedroom, two bath unit that is uh, 1,236 square feet. And you can see as we walk through the front door, we are immediately in the main living area. We have the kitchen directly in front of us. We have the pantry through that door. Uh, that is the door to the master bedroom. And then we have the slider out to the porch. And off to our left, we have a hallway that leads us to another bedroom and another bathroom as well as the uh, washer dryer. And as I walk in, I'm panning to my left, and now I'm showing you the front door that we just came in. Uh, what we're going to do first is head down this hallway and check out the bedroom. We are then going to work back through to the kitchen, the main living area, the master bedroom, and then we'll look at the view of the ocean from the porch. Uh, Serena Shores is a condo that's located directly on the ocean. The unit that we are looking at today is not a direct ocean unit, but it will still give you a good idea um, you know, as to what the view would be like if you were directly on the ocean. This does have an ocean view. It's just not technically direct ocean. As you can see, the floor is tiled, as is the inside of the shower. This is the guest bathroom. And uh, to point out the obvious, it does have a shower, and it also has a tub. Here we have the countertop, which appears to be like a Corian Silestone material. Cabinets. And then the lighting overhead. This unit was built, or this condo, I should say, was built in 2004, so everything looks pretty contemporary. We're now walking down the hallway, it's a short hallway, to the guest bedroom. This room measures 11 feet by 10 feet, according to the listing description. I know that you said a decent sized bedroom was important, but the guest bedroom didn't have to be huge, so this definitely would work for you based on what you've told me you're looking for. Uh, we have a closet there. And then as we walk back out toward the main living area, you'll see, as I open this door, we have the washer dryer here. So the washer dryer is at the end of this hallway, and then through this opening. When I open that, you can see you have your air handler there. So I'm turning to my left, and we're now looking back at the main living area. Uh, again, all of the unit, except for the bedrooms, is tiled. And you can see it's also tiled on the diagonal. Uh, rather than having them as you would typically see them, they're set at a 45 degree angle so that you have this nice decorative pattern. So we're now back at the front door. We're walking toward the kitchen. You can see we have a bit of a breakfast bar here. Now the kitchen is not huge, but it has a lot of storage. So we have a lot of cabinets. We have some nice recessed lighting in here. We also have a sprinkler system throughout the unit, so never like to think about a fire uh, happening, but it's nice to know that if and when there ever was a fire that the unit does have a sprinkler system. Uh, the surface here appears to be exactly what we found in the bathroom. 
uh, a sile stone or a corian type material. Here we have a pantry, which is nice and deep. We are now heading toward the master bedroom. Uh, again, this unit is not direct ocean, so this window actually looks out on A1A. I was not able to get the shutter open. And this slider looks north. And as I spin around here, you can see the main entrance. And now we're looking toward the master bath. Uh, we have a closet on either side of the walkway, or the hallway. The entry, I'm not sure if it's really a hallway. <laughs> um, but as we enter the bathroom, we have a nice garden tub on the right. The nice decorative glass block window here. We have the toilet. And then a walk-in shower. And then a double vanity here. So we're now taking a look in one of the closets, just to give you an idea of the size. I'd say it's um, probably 5 by 5, if I had to guess. And this one, this would be the his closet. The other would be the hers closet. Yeah, this one's not as deep and not as long, but it would work. So now that we've seen both bedrooms and both bathrooms, we're going to head out onto the porch so that we can see the view. As we walk that way, I'm just going to turn around and give you another view of the unit. So there we have the laundry room, or the laundry area, uh, at the end of the hallway there. You have the kitchen. On the other side of this wall is the master bedroom. And we're now heading outside. So we're now looking at the slider that comes off the master bedroom. You can see that we have storm shutters here that run the entire length of this porch. And I'm now turning around to face the ocean. And like I said, it is not direct ocean, but it is uh, an ocean view unit. And then we have uh, parking beneath the building. So the garage is just below us and you can see the arrow showing the, uh, the way traffic goes. So today we have visited Serena Shores. My name is Andy Barclay. I'm a realtor with Remax Elite. And if you would like information about this building or any unit at Serena Shores or any listing in Brevard County, you can give me a call at 321-514-9862 or you can email me at andy at thinkandy.com. Thanks for watching.